That is the way an eggs Benny is supposed to be. Oh my gosh, it is crazy hot. <gasps> Ow! <laughs> I heard the texture thing. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you and just for you. We are in the wonderful town of Whitby, Ontario, Canada, just east of the mighty city of Toronto at a restaurant called Egglicious, an all day breakfast, all day lunch kind of joint. And apparently they have an amazing Eggs Benedict. And as you guys know, I love Eggs Benedict. So I wanted to try it out here and then there's another location in Toronto we're gonna head over there later on today and do like a late lunch early dinner kind of deal just for you and just for you are you guys ready let's go in there order some food come back here and eat it with you and eat it with you let's do this Hello. Hello. How you doing? Good, how are you? All right. Hey, you got a good eggs benedict. Yes, you do. Excellent. Egglicious benny, sirloin steak, mushroom benny, avocado bacon brie, cheese, meat lovers benny. Yeah, you got all the bennies. I think for the first one at your restaurant, I think we should do eggs, just egglicious benny. Egglicious benny? Yes, sir. And, uh, I hear you have an amazing juicy machine. Is that up and running? Yes. All right. Yeah. Let's do a fresh juice. Thank you. How do you like your export? Soft, medium, hard? Soft, please. Anything else, sir? That's it, thank you. Good day. Let's eat. All right, guys, we are back in the car. Let's get on a trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? Let's set this up and start eating. All set up. The orange juice came to $4.95. Wasn't that the coolest machine ever? Just grabbed it, sliced it, split it rolled it, squashed it, and all the juice came out into a cup, and then they filled it into my takeout cup. Uh, no wonder it's worth $5. Uh, the Eggs Benny is $13.95, and after our taxes, $21.36 altogether. They gave me two ketchups, napkins, uh, I didn't need the knife and fork because I brought my own from home uh, because eating this kind of stuff in the car with plastic is isn't good uh, and plus it's a waste. They also give you a huge thing of fruit. Check that out. You got everything in there, man. We got bananas, blueberries, uh, looks like melon, apple, orange, grapefruit, uh, grapes. Unbelievable. That will be very, very good. Let's just do a quick taste test of this orange juice. I've been dying to try it ever since I saw the machine working. That is wonderful. Oh my gosh. Love to swing by here once a week and grab a freshly squeezed. I think it took six lemon, uh, six oranges maybe. Maybe, I think you put in six or maybe eight. Oh, that's gonna taste great. So in this particular case, uh, they give you the hollandaise sauce on the side. When I first pulled this out of the bag, I'm like, oh my gosh, they forgot the hollandaise sauce. How could they do that? But that is not the case. Just snap the top off to get that out of my way. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So he asks, this is what I like about places like this. They actually asked what kind of egg I wanted and I said soft. So they gave me three soft eggs and uh, that is on top. I can't, oh, it looks like mushrooms. Let's go in for a close up. All right, moving in for that extreme close up of these eggs, Benny, before we put on the hollandaise sauce. Let's check out these home fries. They look like they're fried 
on that grill and you've got the crispy oh it's fogging up my lens you've got the golden brown and a little more crispy on this side that's going to taste phenomenal and then we've got this eggs benny the soft egg and on this underneath here uh, instead of pea meal bacon it looks like they have sausage mushrooms uh we're gonna have to like dissect this a little bit because uh i've never seen an eggs benedict like this let's put on our hollandaise sauce and then we'll cut one of the eggs open all right guys there is our hollandaise sauce it looks nice and creamy let's see if we can do this without spilling it on ourselves so we'll pour that on oh my goodness we're gonna have to like make sure we get it on everything evenly oh my gosh i think we're gonna go with both of them too that looks phenomenal yummy incoming part two i'm gonna like make sure it goes on that side of it just so we can get some on those taters wow this is gonna be killer unbelievable look how it doesn't even stick to the inside of that oh i can smell that butter yummy let's eat let's cut one of these eggs open all right see if he did it the way i wanted it are you ready i think it's going to be perfect oh that is perfect guys that is the way an eggs benny is supposed to be super runny let's check out this one over here let's do it oh yeah i could just tell by the way it the knife pierced that beautiful egg we've got this one in the center yeah they did a very very good job on that look at that yucky mess but it's gonna taste awesome let's start sprinkling salt came out first put some on my taters and then the pepper oh yeah i'm, I'm dying to find out what is underneath these eggs the fact that they toasted their egg, uh, their English muffins right away tells me that they know what they're doing. All right, let's see if we, oh, there's cheese on there too. What is going on? Okay, here we go. Oh, what is this? <laughs> we got cheese, we got mushrooms, we got egg, hollandaise sauce. Mmm. That is awesome little bit of English muffin Wow this is again you know first time I had this the steaks Benny was awesome this is a very unique experience in and of itself check that out that mess that conglomerate of ooh oh no not in the steering wheel I knew that was gonna happen cheers all cleaned up that is great. The um, the sausage is spicy. So this is a unique experience. Uh, there's like a ridge underneath in the plastic. There's like a ridge, I guess, to stop things from sliding around. The problem with that is I'm, I'm trying to cut uh, through all this food and I keep thinking that that's part of the food. And it's not. This hollandaise sauce is, is phenomenal. We'll have to find out if they actually make their own hollandaise sauce. It tastes like they made it themselves. And it looks like they made it themselves. You can see the texture of the butter. There's the sausage. Lots of mushrooms. I don't think I've ever had mushrooms on Egg Benny either. Let's dig into some of those home fries. They look well seasoned. And they are. There is one big piece. Can I do it? Yeah, let's just do it. Mmm. I hope Egglicious opens up a, a shop up in the north so I can visit it once in a while. Or I'll just have to come down here. That's just how it's gonna have to be. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever had an Eggs Benedict. And if you had, would you want it to be as runny and gooey as this? Because this is the way it's supposed to be. I know some people don't like the goo of eggs and they might want to go hard boiled, but that to me is a huge mistake. 
I think Japanese people would love it done this way because they love their eggs gooey and sometimes even raw and they'll mix it in with their rice. The home fries are awesome. It's like they boiled potatoes, cut them up, and threw them on the grill with a little bit of oil and some spices. I don't see any uh, sign of like onions or anything with it, but uh, that's totally fine. This is the way they do it. This is the way they do it, and it tastes great. I found onions uh, as part of the eggs, Benny. So it looks like they put down the toasted English muffin, and then they'll put like cheese on it, and then sauteed. Uh, mushrooms and onions and then they'll put the sausage spicy sausages on the egg on top and then the hollandaise sauce and it tastes phenomenal this is a great little combination that I was not expecting whatsoever glad I dropped by kind of excited to see what they got for lunch I guess we'll find out oh man I got everything in this fork full oh egg please don't fall off don't this eggs Benny is definitely in my top five of the best Bennies I've ever had. You gotta give it a shot, man. This is phenomenal. And part of the secret is to always drink a little bit of orange juice between bites. Ah, oh, it goes together so beautifully. Oh, especially the freshly squeezed. Let's move on to this fruit bowl, shall we? Uh, one of the things I don't like is grapefruit. Love oranges, I love most of the stuff on here. I'm not a huge melon kind of guy either. And then it's hard to eat an orange like that. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not huge on, on melons, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of that fresh strawberry, fresh raspberry. Mmm. Apple. Looks like we got a little Granny Smith. Banana, blueberry, mmm. All right, guys, we are all done this amazing Eggs Benny at Egglicious. Next time you're in Whitby or Toronto, give it a shot. Eat what I had. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree that it was phenomenal. And I think you'll agree. I'm gonna clean all this stuff up, then we'll head over to Toronto, and then we'll check out the other Egglicious and see what they got on the menu for lunch. Let's go. As you can see from behind me, we got the CN Tower and the Rogers Center, hoping we get sports back. And right over here is Lake Ontario. Let's go take a peek. Hope you like that little tour of the waterfront in downtown Toronto. Now we're in the sunny city of Etobicoke, which is just west of Toronto. Let's go in there, grab some grub, come back in here and eat it with you and eat it with you. Are you ready? Let's go. Hello, how you doing? Yep, so. All right. Which one would you recommend? 
Reuben over the corned beef. Okay, Reuben it is. And I heard your chocolate chicks are good. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. All right, first off, I gotta try this chocolate shake. Look at it. It is thick. It is so thick to have the straw that you get for that uh, Chinese drink, bubble tea. Cheers. It tastes like they use chocolate ice cream and chocolate syrup. You know, when you go to those places, they use vanilla ice cream and they put the chocolate in. It's kind of watered down chocolate. This is chocolate on chocolate. So this is, a, this is like drinking a brownie. <laughs> All right, so the Reuben sandwich is $11.50 and the chocolate milkshake uh, is $4.50. Thank you very much for not making it a Pulp Fiction milkshake, $5 milkshake. This is a good 450 milkshake. It's worth it. Lots of ice cream in there. Oh, it's been a while since I've had a milkshake too. All right, let's get this all set up and start eating. They gave me four ketchups, a knife, fork, napkin, salt, pepper. I'm gonna grab some extra napkins because I'm a messy kind of guy. First up, whoa, look at those fries. Oh, the heat. Woo! Lots of hot steam came out of there. Check out those fries, ladies and gentlemen. Aren't they beautiful? You can check it out too. Scratch it, sniff it, the rest is mine. Oh, these are, look, these look crispy. Crispy on the outside. Oh, they're so hot. Oh yeah. Nice and light and fluffy on the inside. Mmm. Lightly salted. Let's put those over there for a second. Let's check out the sandwich. Holy schmoly. I didn't ask him what all the different weights of their sandwiches are. He just said eight ounce, and I'm like, sure, eight ounce sounds good. First up, we're gonna do a close up of these gorgeous golden fries. If that doesn't make you hungry, man, I don't know what will. And then way over to here, We've got this Reuben. Look how stacked up it is with all that beautiful meat. There's a foreign invader here. Uh, I'll try and eat some of it just for you guys. A beautifully toasted rye slice of bread on the top and the bottom. And as you can see there, we got some mustard. Oh, look at all that meat, guys. Oh boy. I turned it around and I found the cheese hanging out the back. And over here we got some sauerkraut, which is gonna give it a nice crunch. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. All right, let's see if we can pick this thing up somehow. Use the paper as your friend. Oh my gosh, it is crazy hot. <gasps> Ow! Ow! <laughs> it is so hot. Unbelievable. Check this out, guys. Look how well integrated the meat cheese sauerkraut oh my gosh it looks like a world map it's all gone crazy let's bite it mm. the meat with the sauerkraut crunch and the gooey cheese mm. Oh yeah, I'm coming back. No. Oh. Sauerkraut on the shirt. Clean up time, all cleaned up. Let's have a sip. I love milkshakes, man. Milkshakes, french fries, Reuben, great combo. I'm gonna do something just for you guys. I'm gonna 
attempt to eat this. I don't mind pickles on specific things, but put pickles straight up all by themselves are just too tangy and sour and they need to be mixed with things, but this is for you guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I heard the texture thing. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm gonna get some of this back in my mouth. Mm. Good. Not good. Good. Not good. This is a beautiful sandwich. It's 11.50 for all this food, plus the fries. I could eat half of that and half the fries, share the other half with somebody, and you'd be fine. Yeah, this, this is made, this was designed for a king. Nice people working there too. Super friendly staff, both locations. I think they grilled it, they buttered it and put it on the, the grill. This Reuben is so good, I'm gonna have to give it a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite just for you and just for you. Are you ready? Here we go. Mmm. Oh. Looks like a couple more sips of this and then we're done. Well, that just about wraps it up here at Egglicious. If you're looking for an excellent Eggs Benedict or Reuben, check out Egglicious. There's one in Whippy, there's one here in Etobicoke. I am absolutely full and don't need any more food for the day. If you love these videos and you wanna show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out this phenomenal playlist and I'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.